Welcome back to Wisconsin family. We are having ourselves a fantastic time out here in Point at Wisconsin. We're at Rock and Wool Winery. It's a great place. We're going to take a, rag a wagon ride a little yeah. bit later and we look forward to that. And we are joined now by Jim Essence who joins us from Jim's Coins over in Hilldale. You may be familiar. But today we're going to learn some things and we look forward to that. So thanks for joining us, Jim. Thanks a lot for having me. So, we have a lot to talk about. We've already sort of perused some of the items that you brought today, but we've got lots of questions for you. So, we're talking a little bit about collecting, we're talking about coins, and we're talking about families and how they can get involved. But let's talk a little bit about coin holders and some of your recommendations to start. Yes, that's a very uh, good question. How to store coins so that they stay in the best condition over time okay, so as people you, collect. So yes. if you find something great, obviously you want it to be worth something later. Right, right. And so the key, the key thing to remember is you want to limit the exposure to harmful uh, environmental factors such as air and chemicals. Uh -huh. And so the way to do that is to, first of all, you want a holder that is inert in that it protects it from air getting into it and also protects it from um, chemicals and uh, things that would be in the air or around the coin and the holders themselves should be inert so that they they don't contain chemicals that would harm the coin. Okay. Now there's two, these are very uh, common ways to to keep coins in these, um, these holders here okay. and these look the same but actually they're different. If you can, if you want to feel it one is very stiff and kind of crispy, mm -hmm. and one's like nice and soft and rubbery. Yeah, well, and one's more pliable. Yeah, and they're, oh, sure, they're, yeah. they're both used. Mm -hmm. uh, the, the soft one is nice to touch, but actually it contains PVC, and over time that will, that will uh, actually, leave a residue on the coin I that see. will actually eat into the coin. So oh. you, don't wanna, you wanna avoid <laughs> the soft ones, even though they're nice to touch and go with the crispy ones, which yeah. will keep the coins nice. That's interesting because you don't think about that. You figure if you put it in something, you're, yeah. you're safe, but really the, the holder itself could potentially damage exactly. the coin. So yes. that's a, yeah. a yes. really important factor. Yes. Okay. Not all yeah. coin holders are created equal. I guess not. I guess. That's, that's correct. Mm -hmm. Other good methods are uh, this nice, it's again, hard and yeah. Sure. Hard, hard That's holder. That's almost like a CD case like a or jewel something, case, I was right? Say, yeah. For your coin, <laughs> mm -hmm. right? Yep. And and uh, this is also okay. Um, you know, you staple these together, and you can hold coins in these too. Uh, you know, that's a that's a plastic that's a mm -hmm. it's thin, but it's also hard. So and the that's casing good. There almost reminds me of like an old negative holder or something. Yeah, <laughs> I guess yeah, slide or something. Mm, right. Yeah. Yeah. Now here's another very common way, fun way to collect the state quarters. For example, you just push them in here, but here you're exposed to the cardboard, you're exposed to the air, mm -hmm. but it's just for fun. Sure. So right. it's okay for the kids. Yeah. So if, you're, if you don't have something that's as serious or maybe as, as valuable, doing something like this is okay. You're yes. not trying to preserve yes. it, in other words, here. Gotcha. So. Right. Yeah, just for fun to look at it. Um, yeah, exactly. Okay. All right. um, then we have another type of holder, which is a little bit better. Um, oh, see, yeah. this, it has plastic slides, which will protect the coin. Mm -hmm. Well, that's and smart, so you can still display it and have yes, some Yes, and you can see both sides. Yeah. Okay. So this is a step up from Oh, those. that's fun. Sure. And of course, then you have the plastic roll, and that's also okay. 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 And so that, that protects the, that'll that protect the coins pretty well then? Yep. Maybe not as good as yep. these, though, I'm guessing. Uh, no, well, this would be just, this would be fine. Okay. That um, is okay. Now, there are paper rolls, and that would also not be so good. So okay, sure. so right. the plastic rolls are okay even if they're stacked then. Yeah. Okay. okay, okay, good, yeah. very Excellent. helpful. Excellent. Yeah. Then you have one for a... Uh, right, one currency for as well. Yeah. You want the crispy holders, not the soft rubbery sure. ones. Yeah. yeah. Okay. And we were yeah. saying before we started, this is incredible. Look at this, how crisp this dollar, this $20 bill has yeah. stayed. And it was issued in 1929 and it's wow. in perfect, looks like perfect condition to me. The untrained eye. There you yeah. go. Um, yeah, budding coin currency collector here. There yes, you go. that's right. You get to see me develop right before your eyes. So a lot of a lot of folks, when they think about collecting coins, might think about you know if they find what they think it might be an old relic, they think about cleaning it. I mean, is it a good idea to, to clean some question. of these coins yeah. when they find them? Or yes, uh, that's a very good question. The answer is a big no. Okay. Um, 
collectors like the original patina on coins. Mm -hmm. So, really? uh, yeah, some people like shiny, but uh, actually shiny is not good. The original patina, it can be naturally shiny like these, but you can see the difference. You know, a trained eye can see the difference. It's, it almost looks kind of metallic polished yeah. as opposed to some, the original luster of the So coin. this is the so, original and this has been polished. Yes, yes, yeah. exactly. Okay. Interesting. Yep. Now what yeah. about sterling yeah. silver like flatware? You know, a lot of times you'll get a hand-me-down or something like that in your family and of course you would want to clean that, wouldn't you? Or is it the same rule applies? Uh, not the same rule. That's fine to, to polish. You can polish those. Yeah, because yeah. the okay. condition is not, it's not such a, uh, they don't it's examine the surface of the... It's more of a weight. Or exactly, okay. weight and design. Okay. Um, so that's okay to do. Okay, wow. so you can clean yeah. your flower. And not that's necessary good, especially to sell if you're it. Gonna use it. You know, if you're gonna just gonna turn it in, not necessary to clean. Mm -hmm. Okay. Also, yeah. Wow, right, so good. much to talk about. We're already out of time. I know it goes so quickly, <laughs> but we learn so much with you. So it's such a fun hobby and a wonderful thing for families to do. Get the kids involved, and you talked about it before, but I think it's important to mention again. What a great way to get excited about history. I just think it's so great. Yeah. Right. Lots of things you can do with the family. The Madison. Coin Club has free meetings. Um, see our website for other ways you can get involved. Yeah, absolutely. And go see him over in Hilldale. Well, we're going to be back with more Wisconsin family after the break. Go see Jim at Jim's Coins, and we'll be with you in just a second.